If you present with symptoms, so fever, sore throat, cough, headache, uh, body aches, you may have one of those symptoms, you may have all of those symptoms. Um, in addition, if you have traveled to a, a high-risk country, if you've been in contact with a confirmed case, um, or if you have if you're a hospital or a healthcare worker and you are working in a facility where, where there are confirmed cases, and then of course if you have pneumonia, those are all good reasons why you should be tested. So you need to go to your doctor, your normal GP or your uh, healthcare provider, your clinic where you would normally go when you are feeling sick. The doctor will then direct you to a laboratory that may either be private or NHLS and they will collect a specimen. So because it's a respiratory pathogen, the likely place to find it is in the, the nose or the throat. And so the lab will collect either what we call a nasopharyngeal, which is a, a, a swab from the nose, or an oropharyngeal swab, or they might collect both. So when we receive the samples in the laboratory, the testing that we perform is what we call molecular-based testing. So we look for specific genes, uh, genes that are specific for the novel coronavirus or COVID. And yes, so if we detect those genes, then we call it a positive test result. If we do not detect those genes, then it is a negative test result. So the process from when, when the laboratory receives the specimens is on a Good day, I want to say, 24 hours, it may be up to 48 hours, depending on um, how busy the laboratory is on that day, um, as well as uh, whether or not there are any problems and if the test may need to be repeated, which is standard laboratory practice.